today I'm going to do seven eight questions so let's take a start here we have uh, one question you can see here here we have to find out the value of x and y first of all you can see here this one is central angle OA OB and OC are the radius if OB is when OC are equal this radius then definitely equal it means base angle also equal if this is X then this part also X so what we can write here angle OBC is equal to angle OCB is equal to X okay if this X then this also X now in this triangle in triangle in triangle OBC this one triangle X plus X plus it is equal to what x plus x plus 80 is equal to we have to write here 180 reason the sum of angle of the triangle you can write on x plus x 2x is equal to 80 we have to take right side so we can write 180 minus 80 so 2x is equal to when you subtract we get 100 x is equal to 100 by 2 therefore the value of x is equal to 50 hope you understand now we have to find out the value of y now look at here how to find out the value of y you can see here ac ac is a diagonal diagonal or not yes because dime this passing from origin this one is diameter okay if diameter then this part is 90 degree always so what we can write here angle a b c is equal to 90 degree why 90 degree because ac is a diameter so we can write here angle at a semi circle angle at a semi circle if this one is 90 abc is 90 then x plus y is equal to what abc means we can write x plus y is equal to 90 if this angle is 90 degree it means x plus y also 90 so x plus y is equal to 90 what is the value of x we get here 50 x is equal to 50 plus y is equal to 90 y is equal to 90 minus 50 we get y is equal to 40 hope you understand this problem related with circle now look at the next question very important question number b we have one circle inside this circle let's draw angles a b a c here is y this one is 40 degree here 30 degree and this one is x we have to find out the value of x and y now look at here how to find out value of x and y what we have to do first of all we have to draw one imaginary line this line and suppose this one is a and this one is b now look at here how to find out x and y a is equal to 30 what is the reason because you can see here this part we can write here o o a and o c both are equal radius of the circle radius of the circle means isosceles triangle so base angles are equal if these two sides are equal it means base angle also equal so we can write a is equal to 30 degree we can write here b in isosceles triangle or base angle of isosceles triangle are equal we can write similarly in this triangle b is equal to 40 why b is equal to 40 because o a and o b are equal these two are radius of the circle radius of the circle always equal it means this is isolate triangle isolate triangle means two sides are equal then base angle also equal so we can write here b is equal to 40 degree reason base angle of an isolate triangle you can write okay so value of a we got value of b we also we got now we have to find out the value of x to find out x what we have to do x is equal to a plus b what is the value of a 30 so we have to write here 30 plus b is equal to 40 so let's write on 40 30 plus 40 is equal to how much we get here 70 so value of x is equal to we get here 70 similarly we have to find out the value of y y means what central angle and this x means what inscribe angle we know that central angle is double of inscribe angle this one is inscribe angle this one is central angle we know that central angle is double or twice of inscribe angle so what we can write here angle b o c is equal to two angle b a c this b o c is equal to y so we have to write here y 2 into BAC BAC means what is here X so we have to write X 2 into what is the value of X 70 so when you multiply we get here 140 degree it means central angle is double of inscribe angle always 
now look at next question so very important this from this type of question you can score four marks in se examination in board examination now look at the next question number c if you understand please hit the like button and uh, share with your friends okay here we have a y this one is x here is 30 and here 60 this a b c and o <coughs> now we have to find out the value of x and y first what we have to do we have to draw one imaginary line from here if this one is x then this also x this part also x because o a and o c are the radius radius means two sides are equal two sides are equal means base angle also equal if this one is 30 then this also 30 let's write on here angle o b a o b a is equal to angle o a b o a b is equal to 30 degree reason base angle of an isolated triangle reason is necessary you have to write base angle of an isolated triangle so we get here 30 now similarly this also write down angle o c a o c a is equal to angle o a c o a c is equal to x same base angle of an isolated triangle are equal if this one is x this also x now total is equal to how much 60 b a c is equal to angle b a c is equal to how much what we can write here o a b o a b plus angle o a c o a c this is equal to b a c is equal to 60 given o a b angle o a b is equal to how much we have 30 so write on 30 plus o a c o a c is equal to how much x so x we have to write 60 minus 30 is equal to x therefore x is equal to when you subtract how much we get here 30 degree now x we got now to find out the value of y very simple y means central angle and this one is inscribed angle central angle is double of inscribed angle so what we can write here angle b o c b o c this angle is double of this two angle b a c so we can write two into 60 is equal to 120 in the place of boc we have to write down y therefore y is equal to how much we get here 120 degree now look at the next question number d next question oh. diagram is like this i already uploaded diagram on thumbnail also here we have 0 and this one is 40 degree uh, here a b c d and here we have x now we have to find out this value of x now look at here we cannot say this one is 90 because ac is not a diameter we can write here this one is 90 degree because we can write this one is 90 degree because why because bd is a diameter okay so angle at semicircle if this one is x then this also we can write x because inscribed angle are equal standing on a same base or same segment or same arc you can write okay so if this one is x this also x because inscribed angle is standing on a same base or same arc so what we can write here angle c b d c b d this angle and this angle what we have to write here angle c a d c a d both is equal to x reason inscribe angle are equal standing on a same base inscribe angle are equal standing on a same base you have to write if this x then this part also x okay what is the reason inscribe angle is standing on a same base we have to write now in this triangle you can here 90 is not given but this is 90 what we can write angle b c d is equal to 90 degree reason angle at a semi circle angle at a semi circle we have to write okay now x plus 40 plus 90 is equal to 180 degree sum of angle of the triangle so what we can write in triangle b c d in this triangle b c d x plus 90 plus 40 is equal to 180 degree we can write here x plus 
90 plus 40 is equal to 180 degree what is the reason the sum of angle of the triangle you have to write here the sum of angle of the triangle so x plus when you add this two we get here 130 is equal to 180 so x is equal to 180 minus 130 therefore x is equal to when you subtract we get here 50 hope you understand how to find out the value of x now look at next question very important this also first of all i draw the diagram already diagram already in this uh, thumbnail also so you can understand okay but i will show you diagram here too so it will be easy to understand you can see here this one is diagram this angle uh, this arc and this arc are equal this is x a b c d a diagram you have to try to understand properly if you not understand diagram it will be difficult to do this type of question now look at here we have to find out the value of x look at properly <clears throat> this arc and this arc are equal it means in front of this arc which angle is this this angle yes and in front of this arc this angle these two also equal okay this two also equal do you understand what i'm telling in front of arc equal arc substance equal angle equal arc when arc is equal in front of this arc which angle is this this angle not whole only this one and in front of this arc which angle is this this arc this angle these two are equal we have to write equal angle equal arc substance equal angle we have a theorem experiment theorem so what we can write here angle a b d a b d this angle and this angle means c b d is equal to angle c b d both are equal you have to write equal arc substance equal angle equal arc substance equal angle now this one is 25 then this also 25 what is the reason inscribe angle is standing on a same base inscribe angle are equal standing on a same base ac you can see here this angle and this angle both are standing on ad so we can write here angle a b d is equal to angle a b d this angle and this angle a c d angle a c d is equal to 25 what is the reason inscribe angle are equal standing on a same base this angle and this angle are equal if this one is 25 then this also 25 yes therefore we can write angle a b d plus angle uh, sorry equal c b d is equal to 25 degree both 25 if this 25 this also 25 now look at in this triangle in this triangle now in triangle a b c look at properly in this triangle here we have to find out the value of x this how much we get here just not 25 this we get 25 if this 25 this also 25 we get yes these two are equal 25 25 x plus 25 plus 25 plus 50 is equal to what 180 degree the sum of angle of the triangle we have to write so what we can write x plus 25 plus 25 plus 50 is equal to 180 degree in this triangle a b c sum of angles of the triangle and you have to write sum of angles of the triangle this one is whole angle whole angle means 25 plus 25 this one 50 50 so x plus 25 plus 25 50 50 plus 50 100 so 100 is equal to 180 so x is equal to 1 180 minus 100 therefore the value of x is equal to 80 degree hope you understand this problem and next problem is maximum times repeated in SEE examination look at properly this question maximum times repeated in SEE <coughs> F number try to understand the diagram first of all if you understand the diagram it easily you can do it first draw one arc here is origin I told you again and again try to understand the diagram these two sides are equal and this angle is given 20 degree hey, x is here 
ओ ए बी सी डी ई लुक एट प्रॉपरली हेयर हाउ टू डू हेयर वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट एक्स दिस वन इज सेंट्रल एंगल फॉर दिस विच वन इज इंस्क्राइब एंगल टू फाइंड आउट दिस वी कैन फाइंड आउट दिस प्लस दिस वी कैन से ओके और दिस एंगल प्लस दिस एंगल प्लस दिस एंगल ऑल्सो वी कैन फाइंड आउट सम ऑफ एंगल्स ऑफ अर ट्राइंगल ऑल्सो बट लेस स्टार्ट यू कैन सी हेयर दिस टू साइड्स आर इक्वल इफ दिस टू साइड्स आर इक्वल इफ ट्वेंटी देन दिस पार्ट ऑल्सो ट्वेंटी ईयर्स बिकॉज बेस एंगल ऑफ आर इक्वल ऑफ आइसोलेस ट्राइंगल टू साइड्स आर इक्वल इट मीन्स बेस एंगल ऑल्सो इक्वल सो वी कैन राइट हेयर देर फोर एंगल डी ओ सी डी ओ सी इज इक्वल टू एंगल डी सी ओ डी सी ओ इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी डिग्री रीजन बेस एंगल आर इक्वल ऑफ एन आइसलेस ट्राइंगल सो वी गेट हेयर ट्वेंटी नाउ वाट वी कैन फाइंड आउट दिस एंगल वी कैन फाइंड आउट यस दिस प्लस दिस प्लस दिस इज इक्वल टू वन एटी डिग्री बट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स नाउ नेक्स्ट वाट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट एंड यू कैन सी हेयर inscribe angle okay let's find out this angle now and after that we have to find out the value of x in this triangle can we find out this in this triangle d o c in triangle d o c so angle o d c plus angle d o c plus angle d c o is equal to 180 reason the sum of angle of the triangle now odc we, we are going to find out this angle so we don't have so write down odc plus uh, doc doc is equal to 25 so write 25 plus this also 25 is equal to 180 so angle doc plus 50 is equal to 180 degree angle odc is equal to 180 minus 50 angle odc is equal to we get here how much 130 degree hope you understand up to here after this 